on back here. Step on back. Watch out, this is loose, so that might fall. Oh, I heard that fall. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you sure did. Yeah. Hey, everybody, what's up? My name is Eric McGrew. I'm Morgan Spradling. He owns Highland Cycles here in Montrose, Colorado, and surprising to me, he was actually interested in this contraption. It's got two wheels, right? So, like, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's actually really cool about this is that he owns a shop here, and I stopped by one day to talk to him about a four-wheeler that I have and some stuff like that. Morgan was like, "What? what is going on with this bike? Because I mentioned it. And he's like, dude, you should bring it by and we should start looking at doing videos on it. So what you'll see behind me here is, what would you call this, Morty? Uh, the bike by itself or what? Yeah, it's like, what, what would you call it's this project? Like a beach project? cruiser, it's like a beach cruiser motorized cafe racer thing. Yeah, slightly <laughs> board tracker-ish, yeah, 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 yeah. you know? Uh, to be honest with you, I don't know what it is. Yeah. So, but that, that's part of the fun, right? That's the beauty of it, because it's not, it's, right now it's just a bicycle. Yeah. But it's going to end up being super rad and have an engine and go fast. Yeah, so, exactly. And I would tell you what the name of my channel is, but we haven't figured it out yet. Yeah. So that'll yeah, be this coming. Guy needs a, <laughs> we'll have links in the description to this guy's channel. It's just Eric yeah. right now, but. Well, well, these videos will be on another one, but I've got to figure out what name it is. Um, I don't know. I mean, Mick Velociped or Mick or something. Yeah, there you go. Something. Something. I don't know. We'll figure we'll, something we'll out. We'll figure it out. It'll be something. awesome. But the whole reason you're here and you're meeting Morgan, because he, I, I'm, I'm really thankful that Morgan's going to be helping me with this because he's got a lot of experience with two strokes. And even though my two stroke motor that I have isn't exactly a KTM or whatever. Right. Two strokes or two strokes. They're, they're, the principles are very much the same, right? So. Along with me actually doing some work on this, which hasn't happened in the last few weeks, but other than the fabrication part of it, this is not just a rat rod build, right? I mean, yeah. I, I could do a rat rod bicycle build, but then Morgan would be left out, and I don't want to leave Morgan out. That's right. <laughs> so it's going to be awesome because, like, it's just going to be awesome. So we have this. Yeah. Yeah. There's a motor. So That's this the cool is the thing. motor. So this motor here. We'll do an opening later. You don't get yeah. to see it yet. Because yeah. we're, we're kind of doing this uh, at the end of the day and and things like that. But this motor here is a motor that is called the Flying Monkey nice. by Which Bicycle awesome. Motor Works. <laughs> and it is pol ported, polished, balanced. Um, it, it's knife edged. It's got all the, the squish cap has been adjusted for higher compression. So it's got a high compression head on it. It's got all these little things, but it also runs some factory stuff. Like it runs the factory little car. There's Zach. He's yeah, coming through the frame. Like he's sneaking he's by. He's like, please he's don't include yeah, me. Yeah, see, in he's this. trying to sneak by, but that's right. He's there. <laughs> so it's got a few little factory things, like the carburetor is just a factory, you yeah. know, flat panel with the bottom inlet, yeah. which means that we get to upgrade yeah. and do other things with it. Yeah. Right? Absolutely. So what do you think about? putting this they say it could be around five horsepower two stroke yeah with like a 44 two sprocket so i'm hoping like 45 46 miles an hour out of this bike yeah which what are you terrifying <laughs> it's yeah, that's gonna be like that's gonna be legitimately scary but awesome at the same time because like the whole point of riding something with okay let's back up and think about yeah. humans right so we all we're on this planet without any motorized transport for yeah. a long time, right? And then comes uh, mechanized transport, yeah. which was, you know, eventually we got wheels and we got... Yeah, uh, chariots and ca carts got, would have been first. Yeah, and then, then, then we got things where you can pedal and then the mechanical advantage. I think the first ones were like push, right? The bicycle, the first yeah, ones were and push. Yeah, the silly and then penny farthing yeah. things. And finally they came up with this mechanical advantage of putting a chain sprockets and changing different gear ratios so yeah. the, you know less pedals equal more go and so that's all great that was great you know yeah was, I, I think it's awesome even today i love my mountain bike right. but then someone decided to put an engine between two wheels yeah. and the very second they did that it turned it into more less of a necessity and convenience and more of fun yeah. And the old saying, one of my favorite old sayings, is that 
the first, like the day the second motorcycle was built was the day the first race happened. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I think that's pretty accurate, actually. Because, yeah. like, as soon as you got something with an engine that goes fast and two wheels, you want to see how fast it'll go. But you know what? I mean, I agree with that. I almost think, though, with the day the first motorcycle was built, the first race, because somebody was trying to beat their time. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, that's cool. just who we are, yeah. right? You know, 100%. I mean, I, I don't disagree with what you said. I'm just saying. Yeah, no, 100%. Like, and so I think it's going to be awesome to make something that shouldn't go. 45 miles an hour <laughs> go 45 miles an hour yeah because i've been really told you can get should. up to 60 miles an hour right i mean but if you look i don't at, know like, that that's a good idea in stock form the distance between these axles the geometry of this thing is not safe <laughs> not ideal it's not that. safe to go that fast but again safety is not the point <laughs> safety is not the point say Safety was not taken into consideration yeah. with the idea of this build. <laughs> I one of my favorite stickers slash t-shirts that I own was made by a guy, a friend of mine named Duke Shepard. It just says safety third. Yeah. And people ask what first and second are, and I my patent answer is it doesn't really matter as long as it's not safety, right? So <laughs> so so this, this is, is not how I feel about tree work, by the way. Completely different. <laughs> yeah, this is just fun. This is fun. Like the, yeah, doing tree work, <laughs> fixing things for a living, which is what we do most of the time. Yeah. That's all got to be safe. But like the whole point of two wheels on an engine is to have fun. Yeah, it is. It is. This is not practical. Your car is practical. No, yeah. I mean, and, and so so that we're all on the same page, I've had a couple of people who I've talked to uh, about this with, and they're like, well, why don't you just buy a motorcycle? Well, you're missing the point, right? right? Yeah. So um, technically, technically, this is a loophole. And I didn't build it because it's a loophole, but it is. It's got pedals. I tried to even register it as a low-powered vehicle, right. and they wouldn't let me do it because it's a bicycle. Yeah. So the point, though, is that it, it's something so unique. And some guys, yeah, they, they put a motor on their bicycle. They have a standard bicycle, standard seat, and all this stuff because they can't get a license for whatever yeah. reason, right? Right. But <laughs> that... That's not why I'm building this either. This is not a changeable gear transmission. It's not even like a variable gear transmission through a um, CBT clutch. No, or any, yeah. it's just straight, you know, a clutch, which is how you bump start this thing because it's not electric start. Right. And then it's a gear and a gear. And it's just direct drive just to have fun, twist and go. So, will I have to pedal to get it going? maybe it depends yeah. like it depends on gearing and all kinds of things will it look cool well i hope so yeah because as you can see i'm trying to make it look cool yeah, we're already on the way so yeah i think think you guys are gonna really enjoy this super duper fun build it's gonna be awesome morgan's channel uh, link will be in my description and eric's will be in mine okay and so we're gonna have we'll we'll like i said Make sure you subscribe to both the channels because there'll be different versions of every, you know, uh, video that we do. Yeah. And make sure you click the little notification bell because every time we do a new video, you want to know that it's coming up, right? Because it's gonna be, yeah. this thing's gonna be, it's gonna be over a long time. Like, like it may be, you know, who knows how many weeks between videos, things like that. So, um, you know, make sure you get all that stuff done so that you can see how this thing goes. Yeah. And then there'll definitely be a bunch of riding videos of it going fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah totally. Probably where it shouldn't go. Yeah, and, and so also don't misunderstand. This is not like some of the videos you've seen online where guys show you them putting the motor on. They show you like a 30 second test run and it's done. No, we're going to be testing this. Yeah. Um, the, the budget's already blown. Yeah. So whatever else I spend on it, it's already past what I expected. <laughs> so what's it matter? Yeah. So I'll, I'll be trying some exhausts. Um, I'm looking at some like KTM uh, 80cc, 50cc bikes to maybe cut and modify those. Some that they sell online specifically for motorized bicycles. Yeah. Different things like that, right? And then um, we'll show you the results of these, you know, different adjustments we make to the bike. Oh, yeah. yeah. We'll what just... our gut feeling is. And we don't have like a dyno. We're not fancy. It's not scientific. This is not like <laughs> there's nothing about Highland Cycles that's fancy. There's a whole lot about having fun and going fast. 
And so it's like we're going to do tests and tuning and all that stuff, but it's really going to be more about like seat of the pants dyno, yeah. right? So it's just like, yep, that feels better. Yeah, like, and, yep. and, and understand he does great work. I've been around him for a, a number of months now. I don't even yeah. know when we met. Um, but like I would bring my stuff to him. So maybe we're not fancy, but that doesn't mean we don't analyze and do good quality work. And that's what yeah. this will be. Oh, yeah, right? no, like. The fancy part that I'm talking about is we don't have a bunch of high zoot production equipment for our videos, and we don't have a dyno to sit there and go, oh, it's a little bit tense. It's yeah. like, is it faster? Yeah, it's faster. Does it feel it's, faster? Is, yeah, does, is it? I, I don't know. And we'll take it apart, look at it, make sure the piston looks good, yeah. everything's burning right. So we're gonna be, it's gonna be, you know, it's gonna have good longevity and all that. And uh, but yeah, it's gonna be, you know, it's gonna be well Fun. built, but it's also. Like I said, we're not going at it with um, no. a whole bunch of calipers and things like that. We're doing it old school, right? Yeah, this just is how old school people built cool things. So I've been in um, automotive and different things for years. I used to write articles for off-road companies and things. I'll tell you what. There's a lot of scientific technology out there telling you how fast or how much horsepower something has. It means nothing. Right. If you don't enjoy it, what does it matter, right? right. So really for us, seat of the pants is the best kind of yeah right? absolutely yeah and that's i mean when it comes down to it like i mean if it doesn't feel faster then it doesn't matter it doesn't it's matter no, it's no right? fun <laughs> and, and we will do some testing with like high end speed versus mid-range oh, yeah. kind of torque versus low end torque to see which we prefer right oh, because yeah. you can have the fastest bike on the planet but if you can't get it up to speed right what point is there in so this is the kind of stuff that you can expect to see from us yeah so definitely check out i have affiliate links in my description um, yeah. they're through amazon in fact you can buy this motor on amazon and a bunch of the parts i'm using they will most of mine will be modified just just know that um, but you can buy them as a good base point. So if you buy through that affiliate link, I think you have affiliate links yep. as well. Yeah, absolutely. If you buy through these affiliate links. It helps us out. We make a little bit of money, uh, which helps us do more cool stuff. Um, and this is just the first of what we're expecting to be a whole bunch of this stuff. Yeah. Um, and who knows, maybe we'll even down the road build something to see how fast we can go for real out in Bonneville. <laughs> So He'll be I've riding a, it. I've had a dream of building a low displacement, um, high speed bike for a long time, yeah. and I think this could be the the first step in the right direction. Well, I'll tell you this, guys. Just so you know, my goal with this is that this is not the last bike I build, but my goal also is is that this is the last store bought chassis right. I use. Right. So. Um, as a fabricator, I've already seen this stuff, and I'm like, oh, yeah, there's a lot to it that could be desired as far as a better quality. Sure. Oh, yeah. And and so um, with enough engineering and enough fabrication, you can make something that is out of reasonable materials, so maybe not like chromoly or, you know, titanium, yeah. but reasonable materials that will be extremely fun oh, yeah. and capable. Yeah. And we'll see and not cost a whole freaking yeah. ton of money. Yeah, because I don't have a whole lot of money. Yeah, I don't have any money, but it, <coughs> like, this is you do. Fun. Send it. Yeah, yeah. You guys <laughs> clearly have way more money than us. So, and actually, um, in the link in my description, probably I, I'm going to have our PayPal link. Um, if you just want to support the channel, super duper appreciate it. Um, you know, you've seen what we do. You know, check out Eric's channel. Check out the rest of my channel you'll see what we do right we test products we ride dirt bikes we have fun um yeah yeah so, so in fair disclosure we're working together on this he has his channel running so this video will be on his channel as well yeah we'll be doing um different edits as time goes on with different things yeah his link will be the first link in my body of my description go go check him yeah. out and same with eric we'll have him at the top check his thing out if it, it, I mean, his main stuff right now is tree. Tree stuff, climbing, climbing and, and off-roading stuff, but yeah. You know, which is actually really super cool, so check that out. Um, but this thing is going to be awesome. I think it's going to be fun. You know they sell a Nitros Boost bottle for this. Yes. For these. I'm not kidding. That's ridiculous. And it's cheap. Oh, yeah. I'm sure it's cheap. It's super cheap. Like 25 bucks for the grip and the 
the bottle holder and the bottle and the everything. Oh, nice. Yeah. Just it just ba- make sure you buy extra pistons and crankshafts and things <laughs> yeah. like that when we melt a few down. <laughs> we probably will. <laughs> but that's okay. Most likely. That's but that's what it's about, right? So just so you guys know, uh, other than the motor, I have new forks, new wheels, new tires, um, and a bunch of other parts, actually, that you're not even seeing yet. So yeah. you'll see those as they come about. But um, if you want to check out this motor and this bike frame, I will put the description uh, through Amazon on my channel, and you can look at it in the description. And once again, our affiliate links really help us out. Yeah. Give, give us a go. For sure. All right. right Thanks, on. guys. See you in the next one. Sounds good. You guys, if you're watching this, we really appreciate it. Uh, get out. This is all part of the gospel of two wheels, um, which is what we like to spread here at Highland Cycles. And most importantly, like I don't care what you do, please find some time to ride your dirt bikes. All right.